page 30. Grammar Spotlight. Exercise A. Read the interview responses. Notice the spotlighted grammar. Tell us about your short-term and long-term financial goals and plans. I've decided to set a long-term goal for myself, to save enough money to buy a new car. By this time next year, I'll have put away enough cash for a down payment. I'm optimistic that I'll be able to afford the monthly payments after that. My short-term goal is to make a budget for my monthly expenses and stick to it. Hana Sung, 28, Incheon, South Korea. I find it helpful to try to picture where I want to be in the next few years. By next year, if I play my cards right, I figure I'll have gotten a good job as a financial consultant. That's a short-term plan, I guess. My long-term goals? They're still a little up in the air, but my goal is to be financially independent, able to retire if I want to, before I'm 50. Paul Drake, 24, Sydney, Australia. I'm not a big spender, but my college expenses have been astronomical, and now I'm in debt. My salary from my part-time job helps a bit, but I still had to borrow money from my family, and paying back those loans will take some time. Here's my plan. By this time next year, I'll have graduated. My immediate goal is to find a job and make enough money to be able to put away 10% every month, which I'll use to begin paying off the loans. After I've advanced in my career, say after four or five years, I expect to have started earning enough so that 10% of my salary will amount to more money. I really hope to have paid back all my loans by the time I turn 30. Sarah Williams, 21, Detroit, USA.